A look at this handy reminder that popped up on our control screen here. Reminder to EQ. That means equalize. Reminder to equalize. So what exactly is equalizing? Let's head back to the battery bank and I'll show you. So, equalizing is something that we do with lead acid batteries to equalize all of the cells because some cells in the battery will charge at different rates than other cells depending upon a lot of factors and um, what you can end up with is certain cells being perpetually undercharged and certain cells being perpetually overcharged, neither of which is a good situation. So what you want to do is periodically you want to equalize the battery and that's basically a controlled overcharge. And so we're going to fully charge our batteries first. That's the first step in equalizing. And then you can um, do a controlled overcharge and that's what equalizing charge is. It's a overcharge where you're actually charging too much but it's under controlled circumstances and so basically what we're doing is you've got some cells at different levels some of them at this point in time are already topped off but some of them are not topped off and so we're going to be overcharging until the cells that are low are brought up to the same level of the cells that are already fully charged and the idea is to end up with all of them being pretty close to each other so let me explain a little bit here. When you're equalizing, it's a good idea to check the specific gravity of the batteries. Now that sounds kind of technical, but it's a lot like checking the antifreeze in your car to see if it's going to freeze. Similar instruments for doing that. It's called a hydrometer in this case, uh, but it looks similar to the tester that you use in your car for antifreeze. It's different. Don't misunderstand. I'm not saying it's the same thing, but it's it's similar. And how you use it is going to be similar. This is actually my favorite one, but I just discovered that this is on the blink. I think I let it sit too long with some acid in it or something like that. And so I'm uh, not going to use this for the demonstration, but I really like this thing. It's called the hydrovolt meter. It's really easy to use. There's a little black arrow. Basically, you suck the water into it. A little black arrow pops up and points to the measurement. But I also have a backup hydrometer, and this one works well, too. So what's a good idea is to... Uh, it's been a while since I've equalized. And so it's a good idea to check the specific gravity of each of your cells or at least at this point in time enough to know if you've got some variation going on so at this point in time i'm reading here let me go ahead and pull this up for the benefit of the camera i'm reading what does that show a little under 1.250 it's a little low this this cell is kind of low for being at the point where we're at right now because as you're going to see there's some other cells that are higher i think this one might be so basically i'm squeezing the bulb here putting the ho you squeeze the bulb before you put the hose in the electrolyte otherwise it's going to shoot a bunch of bubbles up so squeeze it stick it in the electrolyte and then let it go where it sucks the water up and it's a good idea to do this a few times. I'm shooting the water back in. Do it a few times to mix it up so that you get a more accurate reading. I didn't do that with this one, but I had already checked it a little bit earlier before we decided to film this. And that's actually not too different. It's maybe 1.23, 1.24, something like that. Let's check another one. Maybe this one over here on the end. Another factor here is I just watered my battery and that's another thing that you want to do. Oh yeah, look at this one. 1.275. 
there's quite a bit of variation. If it's more than 10 points, then you really want to equalize. If the variation between cells is more than 10 points, when I say 10 points, it's like, so this is roughly 1.27, 1.275. If there's other cells that were 1.265 or 1.260, something like that, then this would be something that should be um, equalized if the variation was that significant. So yes, this would be a good time to equalize. And so a couple of things before you equalize, I'm not gonna take time to check all of my cells right now at this point in time, but um, a couple of things that you wanna think of before you equalize. One is you wanna make sure that you're topped off with water, with um, electrolyte. You wanna make sure that your levels are good before you equalize because during the equalize charge, it's going to be really, you're going to hear a lot of bubbling going on and it's going to be gassing and um, you're going to be losing some moisture from the batteries. And if you're already low, you could get the electrolyte level where it's dangerously low, um, where it could da um, damage the battery. So you want to make sure that your electrolyte level is topped off. And the other thing is, as I mentioned earlier, you want to make sure that the battery is fully charged or pretty close to fully charged. This one, as you can see, some of the cells are not fully charged. For this battery, fully charged would be somewhere in the neighborhood of 1.270, something like that. And you could see some of them were like 1.25, 1.24. So not fully charged, but then others are up there. And so that's that variation that you're seeing. We were having like a almost a 0.3 difference. So um, I'm good with equalizing as long as I've gotten some of the cells up to where they're showing a fully charged um, uh, specific gravity. So what we're going to do now that we know that we're watered up and we've, uh, once we've checked the specific gravity to verify that we do have a variation there, then we're going to go ahead and initiate the equalized charge. This is going to be a little bit different with your particular type of system. I'll show you with the Magnum system that we have right now. And so let's go do that. To initiate the equalized charge, it's gonna be a little different for your system, perhaps if you don't have the Magnum, but for the Magnum, it will actually not let you start an equalized charge until the system has gone through the other stages of the multi-stage charge. So our inverter is considering that the battery is effectively fully charged and it's going to let me equalize now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the control button. Now I will say I have the advanced remote control, the ARC50. It is, you may have, if you have a Magnum system, you may have the RC50, which is just the standard one. But if I recall right, it's pretty similar to um, to the advanced in, in how this functionality works. But I'm gonna press the control button and then I'm going to turn the knob till I get over to PT control. So I have the Magnum charge controller, the PT100 charge controller. And that's what I'm gonna to use to equalize, which is really cool. You could use the a generator, if you had a fuel powered generator. And in that case, you would start from this screen, the charge control, and do what I'm about to do on this stage. But I'm gonna flip over to number four, which is PT, I'm gonna press in. And it's the first one where it says multi-stage. I'm gonna press that, and now I'm gonna flip through it, and there's start float, so I could force it to start float stage. I could force it to start bulk charge all over again, or I can make it start equalize. And you can see it says five seconds. That means I'm gonna to have to push this in and hold it for five seconds before it will start. So here we go. And it's counting down five seconds. And there we go, equalize is started. And let's look, oh, look at that. It's, it was at 27.1, now it's climbing, climbing. And it's just gonna keep climbing until it gets up to our equalize set point 
which is somewhere around 31. Uh, it's temperature adjusted. The system temperature adjusts it, so it won't probably be exactly what you set in here because it's going to, depending upon the temperature of your batteries, it's going to adjust the voltage either up or down. So it could end up being 31.5 if the batteries are cold, or it could be 30.5 if the batteries are hot. And my guess is that since it's a warm day, my guess is that it's going to end up being a little bit under 31 with the temperature adjustment. But anyhow, that's where it's going to hang out. And so now we wait. How long should you equalize for would be the next question. And if you're just looking for a stock number for a, a small to medium sized battery bank, a couple of hours, like two hours, is typically a, a pretty good number. If you just want a off the cuff number that, that works, you can try that. But technically speaking, if you want to equalize the correct way, once again, follow your battery manufacturer's instructions. So I have to put that caveat in because they, they each tell you to do a slightly different thing. But from a practical standpoint, from my perspective, the best way to equalize is to turn on equalize and then every half hour, maybe half hour or so, check the specific gravity of your batteries and you want to check in the low cells like when we were back there checking you saw those that were like 1.240 that were quite a bit lower than some of the others i'd keep checking those and as long as i'm seeing those continuing to climb then i'm going to keep the equalized charge going and i'm going to keep it going until i see those low cells top out once they stop climbing then there's no point in continuing on with your equalized charge so that, in my opinion, is the ideal way to do an equalized charge. But like I said, if you're just doing a routine maintenance thing, uh, which is good to do once every month or two, some battery manufacturers say to equalize every month. Some say uh, they give other instructions, but typically every month or two is a good idea. And if you're just doing a routine thing like that, then two hours is something that I will often do. And that's actually what my equalize setting here is set for is two hours so that you know I can cut it off early if I see that it's topped out but otherwise it'll stop at two hours. So that is how it works. Um, the other thing I would mention is make sure that you have your battery cover on the batteries when you're equalizing because they're going to be gassing a lot. They're going to be putting off even more hydrogen gas than normal and you want to make sure that that lid is on there with the vent fan blowing that out. If you're not familiar with this, then stick around because we'll be talking about that, I'm sure, in the future, but it's an important safety piece for batteries is having proper ventilation to vent that hydrogen outside where it's nice and safe. Um, so, but if, if you, assuming that you do have it set up properly, make sure your lid is on there and closed and you'll be good to go. And that is how you equalize.